my mom, <laughs> a lot of my aunts and my family that came to the game. But man, whew, that was fun. It was a little chilly out there. If you guys didn't notice. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I don't know. Kind of a weird one. I thought, obviously, I'm biased. I want to go for it every four, <laughs> every opportunity. So that first series, we got to that. I think it was a fourth and two, and obviously we punted the ball away in midfield, and that's kind of I felt like how it was. We, I mean, we had some some drive where we were moving the ball, some explosive plays, but then really just not nothing sustained. Uh, some obviously later, a little bit later in the game, we were going through some penalties, so. That's that's self-inflicting wounds where it's not like they're they're making us do something. Uh, we just got to be better, just discipline. Uh, the simple stuff always kind of comes down to. But it was nice. You wish on senior night or you're playing an FCS team, you you want to come out and start start fast. So there is kind of a, a nice a nice groove going into the game. So, but we won. So that, that's the end goal. <laughs> you, they they bracketed you a lot. You know. Kibo and, and, and Jaron were saying that opened up other guys. But what's it like to be the decoy? Because you know teams have to pay a lot of attention to you. Yeah, it's fun. I, 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 loved, I love this game just as much as I love the Arkansas games and games where I ha or the Boise State game where I have 14 catches because I get to work on my craft. And uh, it gives me different looks and stuff where I might, I might not always have to work on uh, uh, running around against a double team or where he has, he's playing a certain leverage because he knows he's got help where, uh, in other spots. So um, it made me think about what the defense is doing, but also another opportunity for our guys to make plays. I had mentioned this earlier that – these guys set the standard for the year, and the, when I was out and Gunner has been out, they they've been the guys balling. So it was nice to see them kind of get back in the groove. And obviously, Kibo had a hat trick. That's what you love to see. That as a wide receiver, we're just airing it out. And um, man, I, I feel grateful to play uh, with that guy number three. He he's one of the best to do, and I, I love I love catching balls from him. That's for sure. <laughs> we were just talking about what it means to walk across the field today. I know you've only been. Um, I don't know. It was kind of a weird one. I, I obviously I have time. Uh, I, I, I can come back. Um, so it didn't really kind of hit me. I guess I, as if I, I was a senior, but it was grateful. I, obviously, those guys. I feel like I feel like I kind of am an old guy on the team. <laughs> but it was. Uh, it's been fun. Some of those guys who who had the opportunity to go last year and decided to come back and be a part of this team. Uh, um. I love every single one of those guys on this team. I was blessed to be named a team captain for these guys, and we've we've been going through it for the past three months, and we got one more, uh, two more, ho hopefully two more left, and we'll, we're gonna finish it out. But man, it's been fun to be with all those guys, offensive, defensively. I think about all the times I beat everybody's butt in ping pong, and man, those are the, those are the times I remember the most. <laughs> Getting bowl eligible, what does that mean to you? You know, you got that extra game now, and, and you know, even longer, I guess, to make a decision about your future if you so choose. Um, sorry, I just spaced out. I looked at I looked at the stat sheet. Just getting the bowl game. You got two games left now. Stanford is in the bowl game. What does that mean to be able to know you've got those two games left? <laughs> good. It was good. Uh, obviously, our coaches were preaching not to uh, everybody. It's the it's the talk of the season of bowl season right now. But obviously, um, we got we had to win this game here. Uh, so it feels good to to get another win. Uh, we've we've built some momentum obviously after that Boise State game, but it's kind of hard to make sure that carries kind of through a bye week. So um, our coaches did a good job of keeping us up last week, and then coming out and finishing the job. It's, it's, we just got to keep building. There's things that um, I know. I, I me and Jaren had a go ball late in the game where I'm just not connecting, and there's there's block plays where we're running to my side, and I gotta I gotta I gotta fit the the safety running down into the box a little bit better. But um, <laughs> those are the things that kind of get. Um, pushed away when you win. So it feels good. We'll, we'll, we'll watch the film and continue to be better. We got we to gotta improve uh, on the offensive side. I, I, we're, we're, we're shooting ourselves. I think we had a, like a 12-play drive. Of, we got stuck in the middle of the field. Of going, we gained 30 yards and get a, a holding call and then gain another 30 yards and get another holding call. So we're just shooting ourselves in the foot right there, the stuff we can do better. Um, and then I think uh, I don't, we got third down conversions over here. Sorry, I'm just looking. Five of 11. Could be better. I told Kibo you can't have a hat trick and then drop a third down slant. <laughs> so, uh, uh, Jaron had a career high in, in passing yards for him individually. Just I'm curious, what what do you, uh, from your vantage point, working so closely with Jaron, what makes him such a special quarterback? Um, I think just the poise, the calmness that he has. Um, I it's. 
Uh, I know you. Everybody always has a trust of the quarterback. He has the ball in his plays, uh, the ball in his hands at every time. Um, but there's nobody I'd rather have uh, have the ball in their hands than than the athlete that he is too. You, you see that in some of the plays where he gets away and he extends the play, and also when he scrambles, he he's been limited in that. But we saw that in the Boise State game, and then he's always a threat to do that. And just the, <laughs> I think his calmness in the in the play. And in the pocket, and just trusting those guys. And every time he puts the ball up, I think it just—it looks so pretty. It's nice when it comes into my hands and everybody else's hands in our wide receiver room. <laughs> I know you told us earlier in the week that you're planning on making the decision after the Stanford game, but now that there's a bowl game, do you plan on playing in that no matter what? Um, I think that's the plan. I, I haven't really got a chance to look at it, but uh, that's a that's a game scheduled for the Cougars, and that's the game I'll be playing in. <laughs> You mentioned Kibo a little bit, and there have been a few people, I think, that have hyped up Kibo as much as you have over the last year and, and then some. When he goes off kind of like he did today while you're being bracketed and whatnot, is there a little, like, proud papa moment in you? <laughs> <laughs> I think so. It's funny. Uh, number six, their, their, uh, their nickel defender, um, he had mentioned something to me. During, he's like, man, like, I want the matchup. Why aren't they throwing you the ball? I'm like, dude, like, obviously, uh, they were a really good team, and they played their, their defense played really well, but just the um, – we're a Division One program. We got dudes all over the place, so it, it was tough. As much as I'd love to make the play, when you when you got two guys covering one, that means you got Chase Robertson one on one, you got Keanu Hill one on one, you got Koss one on one. So those guys were having a heyday, and then also my guy Terrence Fall got in there to score the last touchdown of the game. So I love I love being able to get in there. Um, I see all those goes away, but especially Kibo. I mean, that's <laughs> on the double move. Sometimes I'd be thinking I win in terms sometimes, and then obviously Jaron makes the right play. So <laughs> Kibo came down with it. That's what you love. Um, always celebrating with my guy Kibo in the end zone, or at least on the sideline. He beat me up the one of the times. My back, I'm getting old. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about not only Kibo but the other wide receivers now as the program transitions to the Big 12. Yeah, I think obviously um, one guy that comes to my mind, and I think he's been a, he was a leader from uh, the very first game was is is Kibo, but then also Cody. Cody was a guy who obviously had his uh, his injury this year, but who was a spark for our offense when when we needed him. I think in the Baylor game, or the the game after. Um, the Baylor game was Chase's breakout game and a huge win for us at home. So those guys have been able to do it. And just the level of consistency that they get to see it and just being out there to feel the find the groove and the nicks and the, the nuances to the game of working releases in the run game and making sure when I see if I set up on the pass play here, I can, I can double up or I can use the release I just used in that play against him. Um, just the little things that come with getting more reps, but those guys are ready. And I, I, as something I mentioned before, those guys set the standard for me. So when I came back in the season after missing a couple of games, I had to, I had to play to their level. They, they, they set the standard, so I wanted to be a part of that. And it's always fun. I feel like they kind of are my sons sometimes. Family name is synonymous with BYU football. Just maybe the emotions of of having your family here on senior night on that field and being all there in that moment. If you could just take us through that. Um, yeah, I think that's probably where it hit me more. When even though we were walking, uh, we we're kind of with the guys, um, just seeing my my family out there, and they had the shirts, and it just like an instant flashback to the Idaho State game last year with Sam, and just kind of being in that moment of like, wow, the, um, our season is coming to an end. This was our last home game, and um, I'm grateful to have those guys as my brothers, my mom. <laughs> uh, I love my mom to death. She <laughs> she's the best. She that's the that's the number one Nakua recruit right there. <laughs> But uh, I'm blessed to be where I'm at. I, I, I'm grateful for the opportunity I had to come here to BYU. And um, as you can see, I, 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 hopefully you can see that I love playing football and I love being out here with these guys. And um, BYU has been a huge blessing in my life. Luka, you touched on something, the, the Nickelback interaction. Kalani said that some of the players you know, listened to what was said before the game and kind of took that to heart. What was the interactions between you guys and the Utah Tech players throughout the game and, and after the game? Um, they're a good, super competitive team. I, uh, that's, uh, that's what you get anytime an FCS school is going to come in and play us. But they they didn't hold anything back. That's what we were expecting. And we knew kind of coming in that they're they, every play, this is – the, this is the game of their their season, right? The, the chance to come in and beat us, and obviously we were going through our struggles. So, uh, <laughs> being the coach, that's I guess that that's what you got to use to your advantage. Um, the, a team that's that's been kind of going through the mud, so you want to play as hard and ca take every advantage you shot. They were taking every shot they could. They were a nice physical team, but not, nothing uh, nothing dirty. But I love I love a team that's going to play physical, and we were able to uh, exert our dominance in there. So it was fun. Uh, yeah, yeah, good amount. <laughs> I try to avoid that sometimes. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Always go coos, baby.